Hello everyone. In this video, let us write a simple Hello World program using Script Runner app. So once you install Script Runner app on your Jira instance, you can go to the Jira administration section on the top right corner, and then you can go to the add-on section. So once you are inside the add-on section, you can find the Script Runner section on the left hand side. And uh, this particular uh, section will only appear when you have a valid license of uh, script runner add-on. So once you install the script runner add-on, even for the evaluation purpose, you can get the evaluation key from the marketplace and then you can start uh, writing your scripts. So the very first thing that you can do after installing script runner app is you can go to the script console. Now script console is uh, a place where you can simply type in your uh, scripts, your Groovy scripts within your uh, Jira instance. And the good thing, the good thing about script runner, is the good thing about script console is that you can actually uh, write uh, some scripts very quickly, and you can take a look at the output uh, right within your uh, Jira instance. So if I do a very simple return statement where I want to return hello world, and if I run this particular uh, uh, piece of code. You can see here that we have the output which is displayed and uh, this particular uh, script console will not let you uh, do any mistakes because if you are uh, not writing valid code you can also take a look at uh, this particular uh, uh, error message that is displayed that uh, you cannot find that it says it cannot find a matching method so it is actually a good thing because uh, you can actually see whether your code will work or not. So this is it guys, you can actually type in your simple script and use, using the script runner console, you can play with the, your uh, Jira instance. But in this video, we will not uh, simply write a hello world. I want to also show you a sample script. I want to give you this example where you can fetch some details of a particular issue. So this is one script that you can directly use in your instance to fetch the summary of your issue. For example, for this particular issue, uh, which is uh, iOS-2, that is my issue key. If I write this statement, return issue summary, and I run this, I will get the summary of this particular uh, issue. And I can also do the same thing for maybe a different issue. And uh, this is a, a very simple way to see whether you can fetch programmatically your issue details. So apart from your summary, you can also try to fetch uh, something else. Maybe you want to fetch the issue workflow status. So you can type in here issue dot get status. And uh, I am I'm doing it because I know that this is the function that will uh, get me the status. Uh, but don't worry about it in the beginning. You will come to know about these things uh, over the period of, period of time. And you can also go to the uh, script runner documentation to know more about it. And you can also search on community. So this is how I learned script runner. And I'm also learning it uh, every day. I search on community and uh, I will also share very quickly uh, with you guys how to uh, stop worrying about different functions. And there's a way to easily find different functions that you can use. So before that, let us try to fetch the status in a proper way. Right now, it is showing me this particular string, which is fine. And I can see here that uh, my status is done, but I want to fetch the name here. So I can also type in here uh, dot name. And if I try to run this, I can now fetch my issue uh, my issue status, my workflow status. You can also uh, actually return both of them uh, in a single return statement. You can also con concatenate this particular uh, summary with the workflow status. And let us try to also fetch maybe the priority. So if I type in here return issue dot get priority and you can run this. Again, you can see here that I'm able to fetch this particular string, but I'm interested in the name here. So I can type in here dot name. So my priority is low for this particular issue key. I can change it to maybe something else to see whether the priority is always low. So yeah, the priority is also low for the other 
issue key so this is it for this particular video guys i hope uh, you learned something but uh, apart from script console i also recommend you to install intellij on your uh, computer and once you install intellij on your local computer you can also use it to write scripts on your jira instance and uh, there is a way to do it it is uh, not very difficult but you need to read the script runner documentation i'll probably give you the link of that particular documentation uh, in this particular video description and using that particular intellij integration with jira instance writing this particular code is uh, very straightforward and easy but the console is also a great way to write quick scripts and test whether the script is working or not so in coming videos we will explore more things about uh, script runner and we will take a look at various features and of course uh, since we are talking about script runner we will also take a look at various scripts for doing uh, things to make your life uh, easy so i hope this video was uh, useful thank you very much